Yo, yo, peace and blessings, Apex Solar One. I'm going to break down part one of uh, your descendancy, your being Lumerian, uh, and things of that nature. And we're going to move fast uh, because we got, I think, nine minutes with that. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to be stopping, but this is for a class for y'all to uh, help y'all understand what y'all heard. I'm going to break it down uh, in layman's terms for us and let y'all understand this is a lot of stuff that I'll I be teaching. And it's ironic that I pulled this tape out today, this cassette out today to listen to. Otherwise, confirming everything that I already know. So I was already teaching this. I had the knowledge all around me. I was already sharing this, rather. And I just confirmed it again today. So I'm going to be stopping a lot. So if you want to hear this in enti entirety, y'all go back to part one. But I'm going to break it down for y'all who want to know a little bit more about what he's talking about. By and large, memory was not yet developed among this race. While men could have ideas of things and events, these ideas did not remain in the memory. I broke down to y'all on one of my broadcasts y'all follow about we were beings that didn't have memory. This was pre-memory. And I gave an example about um, if you on a basketball team and you hit 50 points one day, the next day go by, you could brag about it and all that hit 50. You won't remember you hit 50. You have to just do it again. You were so strong, you could just do that again. You didn't have to have a memory on what happened in the past because you're it. You're moving straight towards the future. Think about what I'm saying. We got broke down from this all the way up to the Africans and then the Egyptians, they had it. They built the pyramids with it, but we won't get into that. So this was pre-memory and I shared this with y'all before. Think of how strong you would have to be. We forget stuff now. A lot of y'all ain't got no memory now. But we go, I forgot, I forgot. And then if you forget something, you have to just do it that much stronger. It has to get done anyway. You know what I mean? Therefore, they did not yet have a language in the true sense. Rather, what they could utter were natural sounds which expressed their sensations, pleasure, joy, pain, and so forth. But when you don't have, uh, they're talking about sound vibration. This is also how they move things. Um, they communicated through their vibration, through sound. Vibration uh, eventually becomes sound. Something vibrates and you hear it start uh, motoring. Like, mm, then you start hearing sound from it. An uh, example of that would be if you know how we speak to people. We still have a lot of this broke down. I tell you, from the western part of our barotheric gland, we held higher senses. We don't have these higher senses anymore that makes us God, that makes us solar, excuse me, that makes us these beings. They moved to the earth. The earth was theirs. Everything was theirs. And they just kept moving. They had no time for what was behind them. So much to the story, they didn't have no memory. Which did not designate extra. And also, not to keep, uh, yes, to keep cutting it off. Sound vibration is like we have bits and pieces of it now. So if somebody say something to you, they go, yo, you want some such and such? You go, mm-hmm. That's saying, yeah, that's a sound vibration. Or if you're mad at somebody and somebody asks you something, what you think about such and such? You go, mm-hmm. And you, that grunt alone is not using language. It's sound. Suppose you didn't have language. You would have to do things off of sound and reaction and, you know, uh, uh, just spur the moment. You have to find a way to communicate. And it would be body language and all those type of things. The objects. That's why it's great to know sign language. Very great to get to know sign language. But their ideas had a quite different strength from those of later men. Through this strength, they acted upon their environment. Other men, animals, plants, and even lifeless objects could feel this action and could be influenced purely by ideas. In other words, when the solar beings came up on you, they ruled all life. All, all life was there. Wildlife, plant life, animal life. And when they came up on you, they communicated with you. You were them. They didn't look at you as something distant. That's an animal. That's a plant. It's like coming up on your true family. I'm one with you. And therefore, the animal knew to, to serve this being. Animal knew this being had no fear. This being was over him. This was the, the Lord and Master walking around. This is why we can control animals to this day after we tame them. If you think to looking at African footage and stuff like that, sometimes y'all look and see in Africa, a reporter could be talking to an African Goddamn lion could be African be like, yeah, lion's right there, right there. You know, if that was us, we'd be like, lion's right where? Like, right over there. They still have some of that essence in them where the lions just don't attack. Thus, the Lemurian could communicate with his fellow men without needing a language. This communication consisted in a kind of, quote-unquote, thought reading. The Lemurian derived the strength of his ideas directly from the objects which surrounded him. He de derived the strength of his ideas directly from the objects with, which surrounded him, meaning our creativity. Uh, 
Y'all go out and see something and y'all start writing. Something that's around you, a building, this, that we can build off of that because that's necessary. And that object becomes necessary for me to have more ideas. So I'm one with that object. And previous, uh, previous before that, he said they uh, uh, communicated through, um, he said, uh, let's go back. Flowed to him from the inner talking, uh, thought reading. Thought reading. The Lemurian derived the strength of his ideas he communicated through thought reading. If y'all follow my other show with my boy Solomon, that good Christian, he I was teaching him about this race, what this man is talking about, like a dictatorship. This is what you listen to and get. We're not guessing. This is the Lumerians' information, period. Nobody to write it for us. We are the engineers of everything, so when we build things, we don't have to use an, uh, a blueprint because we build it, and that becomes the blueprint. That's why they don't know why the pyramids is here to this day. That was sound vibration. Uh... uh through what he said earlier about talking, my boy Solomon asked me, he said, well, how did they communicate? And I said, telepathy. He just said it another Directly way. from the object needing a language. This communication consisted in a kind of, quote-unquote, thought reading. Thought reading. Thought reading is telepathy. I can read your thoughts. And if y'all watch the show, this is what I told my boy Solomon. It's ironic. He just asked me that. Well, well how did they communicate? I said, telepathy. And I was actually talking about these beings, my soul beings, but I didn't get all into that because I don't think uh, they're ready, people are ready for the esoteric. The Lemurian derived the strength of his ideas directly from the objects which surrounded him. It flowed to him from the energy of growth of plants, from the life force of animals. In this manner, he understood plants and animals in their inner action and life. He even understood the physical and chemical forces of lifeless objects in the same way. Just like I was telling you, he, we were one with the earth. Everything was one with each other. Everything had its had its sole purpose. So plant life, your seed, you got here. Your father had to bust what we call nut, or that's a seed, into your mother. A plant, you have to plant a seed, and that plant will grow, and it will nourish you, and all of that kind of that. The Marian being already understood that. So he looked at life as one with me, the trees, the earth, everything had a purpose. When he built something, he did not first have to calculate the load limit of a tree trunk, the weight of a stone. He could see how much the tree trunk could bear, where the stone, in view of its weight, would lift, where it would not. Thus the Lemurian built without engineer, engineering knowledge, on the basis of his faculty of imagination. Just like I told you, he built without engineering knowledge. We are the engineers. Whatever they did as they moved forward, other races had to come behind and say, how did that happen? How did that happen? It's called sound vibration. It's called moving it in by your will. So be it. That's how powerful it was. Which acted with the sureness of a kind of instinct. Moreover, to a great extent, he had power over his own body. When it was necessary, he could increase the strength of his arm by a simple effort of the will. For example, he could lift enormous loads merely by using his will. That's it. If later the Atlantean was helped by his control of the life force, the Lemurian was helped by his mastery of the will. That's right. If later the Atlantean was helped by his control of the life force, the Lemurian was helped by his mastery of the will. He was, the expression should not be misinterpreted, a born magician, in all fields of lower human activities. It's like I always taught y'all, they would be called magicians to y'all. Their natural source, things that they do natural, the, the techniques that they had, the sciences that they had, would be looked upon to mortals as magic. And thus the Egyptians, like I taught y'all, began to say, wait a minute, they're worshiping us for this. And they started to tell y'all that they was the gods. The goal of the Lemurians was the development of the will of the faculty of imagination. It goes on to talk about how was they, you know, they have to be ready to face death. They have to be warriors. And that goes with my life. Why I got initiated. I've been through that. I was pulling guns. I wasn't scared to die. You know, I stayed into the knowledge. And thus they found use for me. They knew.